this is the kind of place that you can spend a long while discovering and peeling back the layers like a palimpsest or an old manuscript you can layer after layer like an onion skin comes away and, and uh, it's not boring. We didn't even really know this historic precinct existed. We came around the corner in the real estate agent's car and wow, we're just blown away. This place has 80% of its original architecture intact. That brought me here. I came here to be part of a living, working Victorian town at work. I wanted to do a living history, authentic, tells the story of colonial New Zealand, what it was like to go to a tea shop in the old days, maybe back in England and have good tea and cake. <laughs> Normally when I go to a town, I'm sort of like the crazy artist, but coming to Amaru, I've sort of slipped in under the smoke screen of artists that are crazier than I am. It's got this really lovely, charming um, character that you don't get in a lot of places. That's fostered the kind of warmth and friendliness in the people too, that kind of beauty, I guess. There's quite a lot of curious things you can check out. Even just wandering around the hinterlands and checking out the landscape is, is worthwhile. Travellers, you get them from all over the world. Um, you name the country and they've been through. The fact that it is attractive to tourists is something that people are kind of um, aware that it's real tourists. It's not people who just want shopping and, and kind of crap tourism. It's sort of got that thing where the people who do like Omaru and do, are drawn to it are quite genuine people. Where are you all out on computer land watching this now? Why aren't you here? Some of you arrive and then go cry baby and it's my fault because I asked you to hear in the first place so I'll, I'll um, renounce that responsibility now. <laughs> <laughs>